All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be tackling the timing chain assembly in my 4.6 layer 2 valve. Um, in my previous video, I went ahead and installed the cams. In the video before that, I did the heads. The video before that, I did the oil pump along with um, um, the pickup tube, which is out of a GT500. So if you have a three valve oil, um, a GT500 oil pump or a four valve uh, oil pump, you might wanna check out that video because we did have clearance issues and you might run into the same problems and um, maybe that could probably help you out. And um, other than that, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Okay, and then for the time kit, I went ahead and got the uh, Ford Performance Kit. It basically comes with uh, the chains, the guides, it comes with all the timing cover bolts, it even came with a timing cover uh, gasket, it came with the cam gears, it does come with these bolts, however, I use ARP, I did not use these. Uh, I mean, um, I did not use the ones that came with the uh, with the Ford ones, but it also comes with the spacer. So I went ahead and already installed the cam gears, but if you don't know how to install the cam gears, I'll just go ahead and give you a quick rundown. Um, there is a little spacer right here, right at my finger. So you have to put that spacer on first, and then you'll put the cam gear on along with uh, this big washer right here. And then after you put the big washer on, you will go ahead and put the nut in there. And um, I have the ARP one. So the torque spec, I believe was like nine. Actually, you know what? I'll put it on the screen right now because I'm not sure what it is. And then also uh, for the cam gears, um, I don't know if you can see, but right by my finger, it's actually marked right to left. So it, it says RH for the right head. And then over there, we'll say LH for the left head. So make sure you check those before you put those on. Also, these dots right here, um, those are the timing marks, so make sure you have those facing out towards you and not on the inside, otherwise you won't be able to align it. And uh, same thing on this side, timing mark. Okay, so uh, first thing before we go ahead and do anything else, sorry, I keep looking at my phone to make sure you know you guys are in the right angle. Yeah, okay, yeah, you guys are. All right, so first thing before you do anything else, you wanna, oh. Okay, so first thing before you do anything else, you wanna go ahead and get your uh, crank sprocket. Your crank sprocket is actually gonna help you find uh, TDC. TDC means top dead center. Cylinder one must be a top dead center before you do anything else. So um, the crank sprocket actually has a timing mark on it as well. Um, so the timing mark must be exactly at six o'clock, meaning you know facing directly down. That would mean you are right at top dead center. I already went ahead and put it at uh, TDC. So just make sure that's at six o'clock. And if you're not 100% sure, you could do the screwdriver trick. So basically what that is, is you take a, make sure all your spark plugs are removed. You go ahead and put a uh, long screwdriver all the way down until it's touching the top of the piston. Make sure you be careful, you don't want damage piston. But um, after you put it in there, you'll start uh, turning the crank and then you'll basically watch the, the screwdriver. You'll wait till it gets to its highest point and then that'll basically mean you're at top of the center. So yeah, basically finding TDC is really easy. So, you know, that's why I kind of went through it uh, pretty fast. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and put this uh, crank bolt on because at the very end, we are gonna turn the engine to make sure we did this correctly. So first you have to do the left side first. Let's go ahead. So let's go ahead and uh, grab our chain. So on the chain, there is going to be uh, timing marks. So there's going to be a dark mark right there. And then also on the other side, there'll be another dark mark. So basically um, one side will line up with that dot on the crankshaft and the other side will line up with the dot on the cam gear, which is right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the crank. Uh, you wanna put it on the crank sprocket first, then the cam gear, because this might be off by a teeth or two, so we might have to turn this. This, we already know that this is the top dead center that's not gonna be moving. So we're gonna put it on there first. All right, so I went ahead and actually removed the crank bolt because it's actually in my way at the moment because I need to be looking at the bottom of the crank sprocket to make sure that the dot is lined up. So what you could even do just to make sure, just to be sure, you can actually take the crank sprocket off, line it up on the gear, I mean on the chain like that. So now that you can see that the mark is lined up with uh, the dot and then just go ahead and slide it back on like that. And then go ahead and reach around on top of the chain and put it on, um, I mean, on top of the gear, put it on the gear. And this line already marked is already marked. So I'm good right there. 
Um, I believe on the other side, I might have to turn the cam, but when we, get, when we get there, we get there. So now that I got that on, I can go ahead and put on my guide. So I don't know if I'll be able to show you on camera, but on the guides, it is marked. It's right there by a finger. I don't know if you could see that, but it does say uh, left hand side. So make sure you just check that you have the correct side. So then uh, the guide will actually have one long bolt like this going through the bottom of it. And then that bolt will go through uh, the oil pump. And then there will be a small bolt uh, about this size. This will be going through the top and then in through that uh, bolt right there. And then what I did is I went ahead and got some uh, blue medium strength uh, thread locker or Loctite because uh, these bolts I do not want coming off, especially because I'm going to be revving the engine pretty high. So I will be putting some Loctite and then also be torquing it down to spec. Okay, so let me go ahead and grab the bolt and I'm gonna just apply a little bit of Loctite. Now that I got that on there, I'll go ahead and put it through the guide. And I'm actually gonna put a little bit more, I didn't put enough. And then that one goes right through the oil pump bolt. I mean, uh, through the oil pump, not the oil pump bolt. I'm going to start that by hand. Then I'll go ahead and put the chain over the guide like that. Now I'll go ahead and grab the small bolt. And the small bolt, uh, same thing. This one's going to go on the top. I'm going to go ahead and, go ahead and put add some um, Loctite. And then let's go ahead and thread that in there. And if you're using a drill like how I am, make sure you go really slowly. You don't uh, want to have any type of impact from the impact um, because you're going to be, like I said, torquing it down with um, the torque wrench. Okay, so the torque spec for these will be at 89 inch pounds. So I went ahead and grabbed my inch pounds torque wrench. Okay. I heard the click. And then uh, these clicks, since it's a very low torque, will be very subtle. So make sure you hear for a very small click. And then oh, those are torqued. Now I'll go ahead and put on the next guide. So there's like a little pin right here. And then so basically you're going to go ahead and slide it on top of the pin. I don't even know if that's the correct name, but that's what I'm going to call it. And then you're gonna want to make sure that this chain is in between the middle and then the tensioner is actually gonna go right here but uh since we don't have space what i'm gonna go ahead and do is i'm actually gonna go ahead and turn the cam gear up just a little bit just to make a little bit of space and basically i'm gonna have to hold this while i put the tensioner on so let me go ahead and grab the timing chain tensioner which is right here and the timing chain ten tensioners are marked uh L and R for left and right. So I got my left hand side and basically I'm gonna just go ahead and get ready right here. And then I'll go ahead and grab the wrench with the cam gear. Oh, I'm gonna have to stand up for this. <laughs> but basically, I hope you guys could see that. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this. Oops. Turn this and that gives me a little bit of space. So I'm just gonna have to wedge this one in there. This side is gonna be a little bit difficult. There you go. And then after you pop it into place, you can let go of that. Now you just want to move the timing chain tensioner to make sure, um, move it into the right place. So that way you can mark up the holes. And then now I got my timing chain tensioner bolt. And same thing, I'm going to uh, Loctite this with blue Loctite. And then go ahead and uh, thread in both bolts. A little bit too much, but it's okay. And then uh, these pins, you can't actually turn them left and right, just so, you know, the bolt doesn't get in your way, or I mean, just so it doesn't get in your way of putting the bolt. Now, with my drill, 
I'm just gonna go ahead and go all the way to the end. Now I'll go ahead and grab my torque wrench and we'll go and torque this, uh, torque that to spec. Okay, so now the for the timing timing chain uh, tensioner, the torque spec will be 18 foot pounds. So I go ahead and I went ahead and got my 3 8 torque wrench and now I'll go ahead and torque it to 18. Okay, now that one's set. Alright, cool, and that's pretty much it for the left side. Now we'll go ahead and do the right side. So, uh, same exact thing. First thing we're gonna do is go ahead and grab the chain. We'll go ahead and put it around the crank sprocket. Make sure that the marks are marked up. And then we're gonna go ahead and put it on the cam gear. But like how I said earlier, as you could see, the uh, timing mark is actually off. The timing mark needs to be right here. So what we're gonna do is remove, uh, take this chain off and I'll let it hang like this. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab, oh, this is an 18 socket by the way for this socket. I mean, uh, for this bolt along with that bolt and this bolt. <laughs> okay, so what I did is I went ahead and I got my ratchet. I'm gonna put it through the chain like this. And basically I'm gonna go ahead and turn this cam gear till it gets to the right uh, spot and uh, lines up with the time mark on the chain. And nope, need to go one more over or a couple more over. Mm, almost. Okay, and there you go. Uh, it is lined up like how I said. And um, now that we got our chain on, we can go ahead and get our guide on. And then here is the guide for the left-hand side. I'm sorry, I mean the right-hand side. And for the guide on the right-hand side, um, the bolt you use for the top will actually be a little bit longer than uh, the other bolt. The other bolt is this one, which is really small. I went ahead and got another bolt and it is a little bit longer. So it will be able to fit all the way through. Where if you have the small bolt, it actually won't even throw it on. So same thing, I'm gonna go ahead and just set the guide right in the correct spot. And I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Loctite. Let me go ahead and Loctite this bolt. And then go ahead and throw that in by hand. And then the bottom bolt will be the small one, like how I said earlier, the same size as this bolt over here. And same thing, blue Loctite. Cool. And now same thing, now that I got it in by hand, go ahead and grab my drill or impact and just slowly snug it up. Same thing for this side. And then now I'll go ahead and grab my torque wrench. And this torque wrench is, um, um, eight, it's set to 89 inch pounds, just like on this side, it's the same over here. I'll go ahead and torque these down. Okay, and then now that that is, that is torqued, I'll go ahead and grab the guide. And then this the guide for this pin will be right over here. I'm going to put it on. So after you go ahead and get this uh, guide on the pin, what you're gonna to have to do for the right side is you're gonna to have to grab your uh, bolt and you're gonna to have to already stick it through. It's not like this side, this side you could wedge it in there, it could stay in there and then you can move around and then put the bolts in. This side is not gonna be like that. You have to put the bolt in through the tensioner. Either side doesn't matter, up to you. And then go ahead, add the Loctite. Then move the guide up like that. And then go ahead and fish the guy, I mean the tensioner in. And then go ahead and get this bolt thread in by hand. Go 
Go. Then after you got one bolt on, you can leave like that. It might swing down, but don't worry about that. All you gotta do is grab your second bolt, add your blue Loctite, and then go ahead and line up your second hole. I can find the right spot, there it is. And go and get this in by hand. And then now that I got those in, I'll go ahead and grab my drill. And then, snug that down, snug this side down. And then, torque wrench, and same thing, this will be 18 foot pounds, just like I was in the other tensioner. And there you go, that's it. After this, you'll go ahead and pull your pins. And there you go, that's basically it for uh, the timing chain. It's a easy, it's, it's not too difficult. These uh, timing these motors are actually pretty fairly easy, um, especially if you have marks on the chains. Um, I've heard of like, I think on some engines, I don't know if this engines, they don't, um, the chains don't come with marks, so you have to look up a graph or I mean a diagram and then um, be able to time it that way. But like I said, the chains have marks. You gotta make sure you're at uh, TDC on cylinder number one, and then go ahead and line up everything. So if you want, you can go ahead and um, put the crank sprocket on and then rotate the engine. So basically when you rotate the engine, um, what you're looking for is for these two marks to go back to top, I mean, uh, to come back to this same spot after you do two full turns of the crankshaft. So you would turn this once, one full turn, and then another full turn. So that would mean cylinder one is back to top dead center. And um, this dot will be directly at the bottom. And then you wanna go ahead and look at these two dots. If they are in the same spots as they are in now, you did everything right and you're good to go. If they did move, so say like this dot is like over here, or this dot is maybe down here or something like that, then something is off and I would recommend you take everything apart, you know, relook at everything and make sure um, you did it right and go ahead and do it again. Cool. Also, one more thing, uh, when you rotate the engine, this uh, chain will actually get loose, but don't worry about that. Uh, once you have oil pressure, then it actually fixes that issue because right now you don't have full tension from the tensioners. It actually uses oil pressure to have full tension. So that chain will get loose as you rotate it but don't worry about that. Also, don't look at uh, the marks on the chains. Those chains are, I mean, these marks on the chains is just a line up in the beginning. After you rotate it, just go ahead and ignore those. You just wanna be focusing on these two, mainly in this third one right here at the bottom. Yeah, okay, so I went ahead and actually put on the crank sprocket. I'll go ahead and rotate just to show you guys that, just in case you know you guys are curious and actually wanted to see it, it's me explaining it to you. So um, I went ahead and memorized my marks. And also, I also have a, a, a diagram right here, so, you know. But yeah, um, this one is right around 11 o'clock. This is right around 12 o'clock. And then, so I'm gonna go ahead and spin this twice, and then I'm gonna check to see if these marks go back in the same spot. And then when you're spinning, you wanna make sure you're spinning uh, clockwise. These engines turn, uh, rotate clockwise. And then that's what I was talking about. The chain does get loose, but don't worry about that, because once, uh, the tensioner has oil pressure, that this this will tension up. But so don't go ahead, uh, work, ah. go ahead and ignore that for now. And then there you can see the marks. That means I did a half turn. Cool, and then let me just we just look. I think I need to go a little bit more. Okay, so that was uh, two full turns. And then as you can see, the timing chain marks are, you know, they're like here and here. But like I said, don't worry about those. Those are just for the beginning when you're lining things up. Now, as you look at my marks, this is right back where it was along with this mark. So um, there you go. That, that's all it basically is. Okay, and there you go. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Um, appreciate my six people that are actually now probably like a two now let's be honest but yeah thank you guys so much for watching um if you guys have any questions or concerns 
please leave a comment. I could try to help you as much as I can. Um, like I said, I work in a shop, so I have, you know, actual diagrams. So, you know, if you need me to send me pictures of the, if you need me to send pictures of those to you, I can do that for you. Um, go ahead, uh, follow me on Instagram right here. And then if you, you could also DM me on here. I think DM me, DMing me on Instagram is a little much better than, you know, like in terms of if you have a question, you know, I suggest DM me on Instagram. That way, you know, I can get back to you. And I do like to check my DMs on Instagram. I also check my YouTube comments because I only get like one per video if I'm lucky. So, you know, that one person who you're watching, you know, make sure you comment. But other than that, um, please check out my other videos if you guys are doing an engine build like this. Um, and I think that's about it. So, uh, yeah, let me go ahead and get a thumbnail and um, I'll see you guys in the next video.